I'm here with Andrew Vorce, the Director of Planning, and Andrew, we're going over the various capital projects that are coming up at town meeting and that are then contingent upon ballot votes, and our Old South Improvements article is the big ticket item, $14 million, and we've talked a bit about, it's going to take some time, it's maybe a three to five year overall project, so we won't borrow all the money at once, but we'll be, you know, borrowing it as we need it. So this is one of the areas here at the intersection of Fairgrounds and Old South that we would be doing what? A roundabout here? Right, so a roundabout gets constructed here. Um, it will impact a little bit on this side, a little bit on that other side. So basically cars coming here would slow down, go around, and, and continue on. So, and it would be very similar to the Mid-Island Roundabout, but it does. But bigger? Uh, it's a little bit bigger here. Uh, it's here to encourage this this um, movement and yeah. also to help slow down the vehicles. There's a lot of traffic along here, um, bikes, pedestrians, crossings. So it's so going to it function the, the same way as the Mid-Island, although it might not look exactly the same, but it's going to function that same way. And some of the other items in the, in the overall Old South Improvements Plan are Milestone Rotary, we're to say a little bit about what we're doing there. Right, increasing the size of the Milestone Rotary that was put in in 1960. So obviously we have a few more vehicles traveling through. Um, that, that project was scoped in 2009, so it's overdue now. Uh, same with this project, I mean this project was pretty much designed back in I think 2011 or so. Yeah, um, we've been talking about it for quite a while. Since there was a little bit of the economic slowdown, that sort of took off the pressure, but um, you know, it, it was needed since that time. Yep. So there would be more capacity, uh, it would be bigger for more traffic to enter. It and be wider? Safer. It would be wider, there so would be ways lanes. To, to break off, correct? So a lane to break off, same with here, right? Uh, here, yeah. now the one thing I'm not sure about, there was some discussion about a pass-through lane that would go on by. Right. I'm not sure exactly where we are with that yet. I think we have to finalize the design. I see, okay. But and then, Andrew, what other improvements are we talking about in this corridor area? Yeah, so if you look down, you can see that it's just a simple two-lane road right now. So anytime somebody's taking a left-hand turn, that means the, the lane is blocked, which adds to the congestion. There would be some specific turnouts in locations along this road and see there's no sidewalk here even though this is obviously being used sidewalk would be constructed up to Amelia um, the medians that we would that we're talking about would be would include plantings so it wouldn't be just you know like asphalt from side to side um, you know we want to make this corridor better have some uh, better lighting uh, some uh, better crosswalks in certain locations we're seeing you see people on the, the bike path this bike path is used quite a bit and you're going to see that sort of replicated along the entire corridor yeah, when you say corridor do you mean the entire old south road all the way to the airport all the way to nobody farm road okay oh, yep. okay yep. Farm road. are we are we talking about a roundabout at macy at airport road and old south eventually we're talking about a turning lane there okay uh, we just talked about that. There's a warrant article that, um, a rezoning article that works with the property owner to create that. Uh, we are talking about a roundabout at the end of Nobody or Farm Road and Milestone, which again, that's to reduce speed and to fix an intersection that's a little bit dangerous there right now. And more people are using as a bypass out of this area. So. All right. So hope the and obviously the intent here is to increase increase traffic circulation and reduce congestion and there's been so much development in the works and are done on Old South on fairgrounds on yep. Surfside and, and this is meant to be you know to alleviate a lot of that right this corridor remember was zoned from day one as a commercial corridor mm -hmm. you know between the airport and town yep. and so basically this day was going to come eventually because of the intensity of this here. Yeah. And we are there. And we're there now. Here in March, early, you know, mid of mid March, there's not a, a real big slowdown of traffic on this road. It's pretty main I think road. everybody is aware of that it's yeah. gonna actually be coming. Alright, we're gonna now head over to Stop and Shop parking lot where we're gonna look at another project that Andrew's involved in at uh, uh, improving the sidewalk 
it sparks out. 